Today's video, I'm going to be breaking down an off-meta offense. I know you guys really don't like it when I talk about bunch trips or tight. <laughs> so I figured we would do an off-meta offense for you. It's one of my favorite formations in Madden. I wish it was better than it actually is. We're going to get into it. It's doubles week out of the Jets playbook. Cool part is it can actually cross-apply to a lot of different stuff in the Jets offense. We know the Jets has bunch strong offset. I got a full ebook on that. On the Patreon, if you guys want to get access to any of my full ebooks, those are linked in the description down below. And then, like I said, today we're going to be taking a look at this gun doubles. So gun uh, gun doubles halfback week in the Jets playbook. And um, pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to just go over some of my favorite ways to, to use the formation. For my run audible down, I just like the basic RPO bubble. I think it's you know simple, effective. If they ever give you a look, you want to go to that. We are going to use Hot Route Master for this. If you don't have Hot Route Master, you can still run this. Uh, I would recommend a tight end apprentice or a slot apprentice, but really that's it. That's all you really need. So, and, and you really don't even have to have that, but I just think it's helpful. So as far as the other audibles that I like to utilize, I really just like to utilize this uh, QB, QB Sonya check play. I don't really like four verticals out of this. PA read, shake cap back corner is going to be our base play. We'll talk about that in a minute. And then I like double post. I think double post is solid. You could put sail dig in here. I'm going to leave PA read and we're going to come out and shake half back corner. All right. So uh, how we like to run this or how I like to suggest to run this would be to run this with your tight end uh, to the short side of the field. Okay. Tight end to the short side of the field. I think it's the best that way. Gives you the best amount of spacing uh, possible, which is, which is, you know, obviously helpful. And like I said, we do have hot route master. Okay. We do have hot route master. Now, in terms of how we're going to set up the first play, all we're going to do, this is one of my favorite plays, really good against everything you'll face. You're just going to drag your slot receiver. You're going to wheel route your running back and drag your outside receiver. See, this is what it looks like. This is called mesh post. <laughs> this is one of my favorite plays every single year. And basically what's going to happen and what's really unique about this specific formation and this specific route combo is the post route on the outside on the right or on the left that post route on the left side is going to get underneath the deep blues so you see here that gets underneath it and that wheel route is going to pull out the zone so let's just go over like the most meta setup most meta coverage setup you'll face it's basically this we're going to have a yellow here a middle third here and then we're going to shade out and underneath and this guy's probably going to blitz so you see this is what it looks like okay we're going to run this against that defense. And basically what you'll see here is this post will get over the top of that yellow and underneath that deep blue. It's, it's really what makes this formation super, super good. Okay. So because, and this is, if you're going to run a good spread set, you need this route combo. You really do. You, you truly need it. Now you can float the running back out, run it five wide. If you want to run it like that, that's fine too. I think that's not bad. Uh, the one thing I would say, if you're going to do it that way, I'd probably run it like this just because I think it's just going to space out a little bit better. And as you see, again, the post is the main route. Now the user is going to have to basically make a decision, right? Cause where's the user going to be in kind of your general, you know, your general meta defense. Where's he going to be? He's going to be right here, right? So he's going to bail back to go defend that, to illustrate that we're going to put him on a mid -reek. So he's going to bail back to kind of go defend the post. So what's going to be open underneath? You guessed it, this little drag right here is what you want to look to. So your first read is the post. If the user goes to the post, you throw the drag, right? Very simple, very self-explanatory, hopefully. And then the other thing that you have here, that's kind of an underrated, underrated aspect of this, is you do have kind of some wheel routes. So a lot of people like these hard flats. A lot of people are gonna play hard flats if you run this offense, okay? I just They're gonna to try to just take away the quick flats. They're gonna to try to blitz you. That's gonna be the main strategy. So if you look here, you'll be able to, eh, never mind. You can kind of throw these wheels against zone, but they're a little bit unique. So like, for example, the way we would do this is we would have to run a route combo like like this, for example, which is fine. This is a fine route combo. And then what you'll see is the flat will go to the out, out route, and then you can throw this right in here. 
which I think is also a very important route combo. Now, again, if they don't hard flat, this is why you want to be kind of looking at this. But let's say they curl flat or they just don't hard flat in general. This little quick out here to the left, followed by, again, a route combo, like I said, like this. I think this is pretty decent. The reason why this is pretty good is because we have a quick read. So you see, we can just throw this. If there's no hard flat, we just throw that. But if there is a hard flat out there, then what's going to open up is going to be your running back. So you see here again, and running back should open up in the seam. Now, you saw that the linebacker kind of played that, which was good. It's a shade out shade underneath hook curl. But again, what are they going to do with their user? Or what's the, what's the main defense? It's going to look something like this, right? So where's the, where's the running back going to go? Well, the running back's going to have to go to this post in the middle of the field. We've got a hook curl here, but ultimately the user has to go to the post. And again, they might be able to get some pressure, but here's your pass pro. So if you want to block the dollar A-gap blitz, all you're going to do is you're just going to double team the nose tackle. So this will block that blitz. And then as you see, number one, I've got the slot at post or I got that drag coming underneath. Okay. It's a super simple route combo, but pretty effective. And as you see, we're starting to kind of build some, some decent, some decent concepts here. Okay. Now the next combo that we're going to be going over is, um, kind of a unique one, but essentially what we're going to do here is we're going to post the slot again. So as you see here, we we'll have this slot post here, and then we're going to take this guy and we're going to motion him across. So you see, we're going to create a trips, kind of a tray Y flex type look. And then what we're going to do is we're going to drag that backside. So you see, we're going to drag him. We're going to wheel our running back. And then we're going to streak this outside guy. So you see, this what it looks like. Now, the purpose of this is to take advantage of the shade underneath. So if they are shading underneath a lot, you're going to have a couple different options to throw the ball. The first one is this route over here on the sideline, which is really one of the better routes in the game. It's kind of like the double post wheel route. So you have that. The other thing that you can do is you can then throw, of course, your, your slot app post. Or, let's see here. And you could do it like this as well, by the way. You can run it like this too. So you have a seam streak threat, tight ends open. And then if that is covered, let's say they go user it or whatever, then your post is coming open over the middle. Okay? So that's kind of like some very basic route combos. Now, the next one that we're going to go over is probably the most like obvious, not obvious, but like I'm trying to think how to word it. But it's really good against this. Pre uh, it's really good against hard flats. So if they're hard flatting a lot, what is natural? What's the natural hole here? Well, we're going to streak this slot. And then we're going to smoke screen this outside player. What you see that we've created is essentially a short corner to this running back route. So the running back basically becomes a corner route and then the smoke screen becomes a, like a flat. And then what you have on the backside here is you can put just a backside uh, deep in route. So you see this, what it looks like. This is it against a curl flat. Notice that it will get over the top of a curl flat and you can be thrown on the sideline where it can be cut against most KOs. Now, the other way you could run this would be like this, and now you have a snap throw read if they don't hard flat, which is helpful too, okay? Another way that you could run basically the same thing is you're going to streak your outside player. He's going to clear out space. You're going to flat this kind of um, slot receiver here and then backside drag, okay? Something simple like this, and as you can see, it's going to get this running back open against curl flats. And if they drift too much, then you could throw underneath it. Now, the other thing you can do is kind of that same, a similar motion. But now what we're going to do is we're going to motion Vada Scantling across. We're going to drag this backside guy. You see that Vada Scantling is going to become a zig. And then on the backside here, we can go with a deep in route. So this is more of a trips route combo, but still kind of similar. You're going to get that deep stretch there that's going to pull that, yeah, that deep flat zone back. And then your tight end is going to be open underneath it. Another simple route combo that I think a lot of people should 
should we should just see people run a little bit more than they do is this one and this is really good again for hard flats so we're going to go hard flat here and what we're going to do is we're going to streak the outside player we're going to hitch the slot we're going to texas route the running back tight in apprentice post the tight end and we're going to streak the backside so you see this is what it looks like the reason this is a good combo is and if you wanted to there's other things you could do here to the left, okay? But I like this route combo the most because, as you'll see, it really will hold the user in the middle and it will open up the tight end pretty consistently. So, again, I'll show it to you. Just a Texas. If you wanted to do it like this, you could do this as well. This is also fine. And, again, you're going to get kind of the same thing. So, you see here, tight end post is wide open. And it's basically a kind of a little bit of a spread style stick play. Now, if you wanted a true stick route, what I like to do this year that I think is pretty good is a flat, a ghost route, and then have that tight end app post coming over the top of it, and then maybe a backside drag. I think this is a really underrated route combo, especially if you're getting a lot of hard flats. You'll see the hard flat will go right over there. The yellow zone goes right there. And then you have your tight end open in the middle of the field. Okay, so that's one way you could do it. If you wanted to do it a little bit more standard, you could do a out route, a hitch route, and then a Texas route. And then really what I would probably do is just run them just like this. Same kind of thing here. And you see, you just force them to make a choice with where they want to use her. That's, that's all we're trying to do. Just trying to force them to make decisions. Okay. So as far as some other ways in which we can run this play, there's all kinds of them. So another way that we can run this play would be to utilize a slot apprentice corner route and then to utilize a streak on the outside. And what you'll see here is these two corners, kind of similar to the double corner. They run at different depths, which is what makes them good. Now, if you have an outside apprentice, you can actually turn this into a cover two beater. And the way you would do that is through this route combo right here. So if they do decide that they want to play, you know, cover two on you, it's a kind of a sneaky bomb. But what you'll see here is this post will split the safeties. And you can throw this. The comeback pulls one safety. And then the two corner routes pull another safety. That's another option that you have. One of my favorite isolation route combos that I like to utilize would basically be something like this. So we have our double corner. And then on the back side here, we have, you know, kind of a, a basic combo. But what's really nice about the double corner is that running back is deep enough to clear a cloud or a curl flat. And then you can ultimately throw or check down to the back uh, or to the tight end if you want to. All right. All right, so next route combo we're going to go over. This one's the most basic but really good route combo. We're going to drag our, or I'm sorry, table route our running back. You can also block him for this. We're going to drag our outside or our slot receiver. We're going to then uh, tight end apprentice post our tight end. We're going to streak our outside receiver, and we're going to come back the solo or the right side receiver. Okay. This is just a shallow co cross concept. The whole purpose of this is to, again, we're just trying to attack this left side. You see, able to get in that south spot of the zone. The cool part about this formation is you could do it from both sides. So we have the slot, or, or, so we have this right here. So all we're going to need to do is we're going to slot apprentice post our slot receiver. We're going to drag our tight end, and then we're going to streak. So it would now look kind of like this. And if you wanted to, you could leave the post. But basically, this is the same thing. It's just now we're able to attack the deep left side or the deep right side of the field. Okay. So those are some of the, my like favorite route combos out of this play. I think this play is really, really good. Another one that's kind of a low-hanging fruit, but we will touch on it here. We're going to streak our slot. We're going to motion over this deeper corner route here. And then we're going to basically, this is just kind of like a makeshift double corner, but it's a super deep corner. So let's say they run cover two. And let's say they run, you know, for, for lack of better 
you know, option here. Let's say they run, you know, 30 yard clouds and they back them up like so. Okay. So if they run those deep cloud flats, this will basically be a cover two beater. And what you'll see here is that streak will clear out the deep half. And then you could throw this on the sideline for a pretty big play, unless he makes the play of his career as you just saw him make. But in general, that's one way to attack that coverage. And I'll show it to you one more time just so you can see what I'm trying to get at here. And I certainly would advise, like, you can smart route this and you can fade this guy if you want to. And then this could be a curl, it could be a trail, really anything. But what you'll see, I want to wait on him to get a little more to the sideline than he's able to get to. But basically, you would throw that to the left. So, anyway, there's that. I mean, you know, there's other ways to beat cover too, ultimately. But this one, in my opinion, does a decent job. Let me, uh, let me try to show one more time. Maybe we can actually catch it. You see here, see how it's a double corner. I'm going to wait on this a little bit more. I got a terrible wind up from my man, Doug Williams. The other thing you could do, <laughs> because you do have Hot Rod Master, is you could do it like this, and I'll show it. So you basically motion this guy across, and then you're going to streak. You're going to put him on a slot app corner. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. What should I do? The slot app corner will just cut a little sharper to the corner than a motioned over post will. This is why I think, you know, you want to have Hot Rod Master to run this scheme. Like, it just opens up a lot more op options for you. So something like this. And then, and like I said, whatever you want to do on the tight end. But just notice he's going to cut a little sharper. So you see he's going to get a little bit more to the corner. That's the main idea. Okay? All right. So the main defense that you have to be prepared to beat if you're going to be playing this is kind of this little defense I'm about to show you. It's basically this, where they're going to be using like some different style man-ups with some underneath zones, you know, but realistically, like, like this coverage right here is like, you know, probably one of the better ones, Okay. So how do you beat this or how do you attack this? Well, it's actually fairly simple. What we're going to do is we're going to Texas, the running back, tight end apprentice post, the tight end, streaks on the outside with a little zig or flat here. Okay. And what you'll see is this is kind of another way to get to the slant post combo, but your tight end post should be open for you pretty easily. And then they're going to have to use her the tight end post and then, that's all ultimately going to open up the running back route. Another really good route, in my opinion, is this. Just this basic little mesh underneath here. Let me show you this one. So we're going to do this right here. This is not a bad way to run either. Um, another thing you could do with this specific route combo, it is also a cover two beater if you use a slot or um, an outside apprentice post. Well, you'll see with the outside apprentice post, the tight end wheel is going to pull the half on the on the right, and then the corner route to the running back is going to pull the half on the left, and this becomes open. So if you want to use kind of a deeper hitting post if they're in cover two, but let's say they're not in cover two, and let's say they're in cover three or cover four, that's where utilizing this kind of like really nice post route is really helpful. Another really good combo for this right side of the field specifically against these cover four style defenses is to use a C route and a streak. So by using a C route and a streak, what you're going to see is the streak's going to clear out the quarter and then this can be thrown. You might need, you need it to be a little bit cleaner than that. So if they get rerouted, which is why I really like to reroute people when I defend a formation like this, if they get rerouted, it's a little harder, but when they aren't able to reroute that streak, you see how he's able to clear that out a little bit more effectively. Now, for the most effective uh, clear out, put him on a fade. Put him on a fade. And I'll show you another way that you can kind of get the same thing accomplished. But basically, this should clear out the quarter. You see, 
and then you're able to throw that on the sideline. And you have to throw it right on the sideline like that, and he'll catch it a lot of the time. Another thing you can do is wheeling your running back to use and using that as a clear out. So it could look something like this, or it could look something like this, for example, which I think is a really nice route combo. Something like this is kind of a unique route combo to this formation, but really effective. And what you'll see is this running back will clear out this quarter. You see how the quarter's kind of drifting to the running back, and then I can throw that C route on the sideline. So what this is going to force from your opponent is they're going to have to cloud flat on the left. So they have to cloud flat on the left. They can't reroute as well up the seam, which is why you have these seam streaks. But then also you can check down to your little drag route underneath because oftentimes if they're cloud or curl flatting, they'll actually match to the running back. So these are some ways that you can kind of get to some really cool route combos out of this formation, you know, even doing something like this. And again, you'll see if you watch here to the left, that C route just passing down outside, you catch it right on the sideline, really good. Another thing you can start to do, and this is something I really like, is floating the running back from one side to the other. I think it does some really cool things uh, just in terms of how it manipulates a defense. So uh, one of my favorite things to do here on the right side is kind of the same thing. We're going to see route here on the right. We're going to float this guy, wheel him. And then we have a tight end post, a backside drag, and a clear out streak. And what you'll see here is this wheel route is going to clear out the third, and that's open. Okay. Now, the other thing you can do specifically to the short side of the field is you can have a streak to the tight end. And then you can C route this guy. He ran it kind of poorly, and I'll show it a little bit better. But basically what you could do here on the right is that same concept. So the streak to the tight end, the C route. And then what I like to do here is an out route, maybe a running back streak and a drag or something. And what you'll see is this just does a good job of kind of attacking the seam area. And then they still have to kind of, I don't know why he's running it so bad, but they still have to, they still have to guard this C route. That's why these C routes are so critical in my opinion to your offense. Let's see if we can get him to run it right, pass lead down and outside, catch it on the sideline, and oftentimes that will be a completed pass. Now, another thing you can do is use this kind of deep post and tight end short corner. This is really not good against cloud flats, but it's really good against hard flats. So you see, really nice route combo. The reason I like to leave the post instead of put a streak out there is because the post will do a really good job of pulling any kind of third or quarter inside a step and it allows this throwing window to the tight end. So you see here, boom, and that's going to be open on the sideline. So how would you set up a route combo around that? What I would probably do if I was running this would basically be something like this on the left. But then what I would probably advise is even a route combo like that. And this gives me a cover two beater. If they do run cover two, that post will win. Another thing you could do is you could streak your running back. You could just block your running back and, and run a route combo like this as well. This is also fine. But again, you'll see. Now, this is a curl flat. Notice the curl flat will get depth to stop that when it's on the short side of the field. Okay? Really important. Really important. Okay, so that is pretty much all the setups you could possibly do from this play. There's more, but... These are some of my favorites. Okay, so the next play we're going to go over is this, is this uh, double post play. So the cool part about double post is this kind of your bomb play. It's really good against uh, cover three, cover four to bomb it. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to come back this outside bunch receiver, streak our left side, and then what I like to do with my running back is kind of float him out on a block and release or ghost route him, or Texas route him. But basically, we're just looking for this deep post. And you should see here, he actually ran it terribly. So we're not going to be able to throw it. He actually ran that really bad. Let me show it again. Cover four is going to do a pretty good job. Let me go over cover three first. So this is cover three. And again... All we're trying to do is hit this deep post. You can feel free to smart route that post as well. We'll see if we can get this. 
So you see how that middle third is going to go to that streak, and then there's this window. It's actually running this post terrible. Well, I guess we'll hold off on that. <laughs> Maybe this post route is not it this year. Let's go over PA Reed. The reason I like PA Reed is because this short post here to the right. So there's a lot we can do with this. Uh, the first thing that we're going to show is a wheeled running back and then basically doing mesh posts this way. I like to have two ways to kind of get to mesh posts. So what you see is this post route will get underneath the deep blues and over the top of the yellows. This is what makes the formation good in my opinion. Now let's say I wanted to do that without the tell of a motioned over running back. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to either leave the play action or just swing the running back to the right like this. And then we're going to do the same basic thing. It's just, you'll see the running back kind of float over there. To me, that's fine. And then the, the main route is the main route. And you see just how good it is. Now, another way that I like to run this, and this is more so for the cover threes of the world, is we're going to streak our tight end. We're going to drag this outside player or this left side player. And then on the left side, left side here, a couple different decisions you can make. The first thing that you could do is you could backside in route him. The second thing you could do is you could out route or wheel the running back, which is probably what I would probably do the more times than not. And so what you'll see here is it just spaces the field out even more. And it really opens up this window, this throwing window for the post. Another way that you could kind of get at the same basic thing here would be to, to essentially kind of run this play almost like a inverted shallow cross. So we're going to streak the tight end. We're going to streak the outside receiver. And then we're going to drag and flat. The reason this is good is because, again, it just spaces the field. They have to guard the drag all the way across the field and the runoff streak does a good job of clearing space for that backside post. Okay. Another setup I like out of PA Reed is this. It's very simple. We're just going to streak the solo or the outside receiver on the left side. This is true Y cross. And I just think this does a really good job. Again, this is really good for hard flats. So if they are hard flatting, if they're not hard flatting, I want to show you something good for non hard flats. So let's say they're not hard flatting here. Then what you're going to look to do is throw this. Very little whip. Right? Now, one other adjustment you can make if you want to is to tight end apprentice cross your tight end. This will make the route run a little bit more vertical. And what you'll see here is he'll get way well over the top of a curl flat and so they kind of have to back him off into a cloud. Okay. So let's go back to double post. And now we're going to talk about this uh, crosser to Valdez Scantling. So a couple different ways we can run this. One of the ways is through cornering our tight end. We're going to streak the right receiver, motion him across, drag the backside, and then we're going to block the running back. That's very similar to trips tight end. And what you'll see is this clear out streak will clear this out and you'll throw it right in that little window. Pretty open, pretty good. From a cover three perspective, you'll see same basic thing. And essentially it looks something like this. He'll kind of split that, and, and that was a bad, I forgot to audible to play, but he'll kind of split that third and I'll show that again. So we'll go back to double post. Let me put cover three on the field. Okay. Corner of the tight end. Backside drag and then something like this. So if you watch this deep crosser, you can kind of throw this before he gets to that third and he can kind of split it. And he can get you a big play against cover three that way. So those are some different options that you have. I really do want you to see that the best way to bomb the coverage, because this guy's so far outside, 
trying to... I can't remember. If I motion him in, does he go all the way across? Yeah, he does. So you could kind of do double corner from this as well. If you wanted to do double corner this way, you could do that. Certainly fine route combo. And you see, your short corner will get open. So you see how we can kind of like weave in just different principles that we've learned. QB Sonia check. Okay, so for this, kind of similar to, but really what I like to do is just out route the tight end, streak the outside receiver, and then put a backside in route like this. This is just another kind of variation of Y cross, but you see it now goes from left to right instead of from right to left. It goes from you know, wide side to short side, not short side to wide side. Another option. Same thing with double post. You can do the same thing. Kind of like this. Another thing you can do is you can, um, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Let me back him up. Another thing you can do out of this is you can motion in this hook, this curl, and snap it right here. So he'll kind of sit in the middle of the field. And then you have this. As you see, it's a really hard throw. But if it, it, the cool part about those crossers, and I'll show you here, those crossers do a really good job against your cover two double Mabel. So if they're running a double flat defense, this double post route, it'll get over the top of a 30-yard cloud. And you see... See how he gets over the top and you can throw it on the sideline there. So that's why I like the play. Why I don't like the play is it takes a while to develop. So you are going to need some, some protection. But in general, I mean, if you just put a backside drag out here, you could run it like this. Perfectly fine. You know, pass lead down, catch it before he gets to the KO. That's the idea. Okay. Let's talk about Another thing I like to do out of double post is scissor now the left side. So the purpose of this is to basically run sail to the left side. Now, the way I like to do this on the left is we have this tight end. I like to drag him, and I like to block my running backs. So this is what the route combo looks like. But essentially, if they don't have you know a cover two, a lot of times, even if they have cover two, and I'll show that in a minute, what you can do against cover two with this. Like, let's say it's it's cover four drop, okay? The one thing I will say, or the one piece of advice that I can give you about this throw to the left, I think if you can make this throw consistently, this offense becomes so much better. But basically, see how they see how when I motion this guy to left, he moves inside? This will help this throw. So you see? Wide open. Now, the same thing will also help the bomb. So if I want to bomb, motion this guy to the left. You see how he comes inside? Now it opens up other options for us. And I'll show that again, and I'll show it from double post. Okay, so motion him to left. Streak him. So now you see he's going to get he's gonna get up there and clear out the zone. And then you could run something like this. And what you should see against cover four is now the post has more, more room to be able to work the sideline. Now, it still doesn't beat cover four because cover four is probably the best base coverage defense this year. But it will beat cover three, and I'll show that. So double post, motion to the left. Boom. And you see here, cover three, able to bust the coverage over the top. He's got to catch it, but he's open. Same kind of concept for, for this uh, corner route. And the next play is this QB Sonia check. What's cool about this is you have this little hook, this little hook to the tight end I think is really unique. So one of the things I like to do from time to time is I'll hitch flat, and then I'll do, I'll do something like this. Super underneath route combo, and you just pick who's open. It's really good against zone. It's a great little stick play, just something to kind of change it up. But... That's pretty much the doubles week. I'll show you one other thing that you want to be aware of, as well as some audibles that you can do. 
So the, the main thing that you want to be aware of here is you don't really have, in my opinion, a good seam streak, but you do have this gun doubles. So you can audible to this and you have all kinds of cool plays here. You have this uh, 45 quick base, which is a really good run play. You have um, four verts, post cross, and then you also have kind of this double dig if you want to, if you want to mess around with that. But the point being is let's, let me show you sale dig, but Basically, the cool part about sail dig is you have this rounded out route. So what the cool part about the rounded out route is you'll see it's going to be like a short. It's it's kind of it's kind of going to be like a short corner. So what I would do is I would take this route and I'd ghost a running back or something. And you'll see. See, how I can high point it up and back shoulder it. So you can do something like that with this. But another thing I wanted to say just real quick with, about this formation. One of my favorite things to do is something like this. Just to attack the seams. So if you ever just want to attack the seams and force them to have to have a plan for that, you know, just throw both these guys on streaks. And you want to basically, if they don't have mid-zone KO on those guys, it's going to be open. The other thing I wanted to say is the audibles. So you could go from... Doubles to double. See how it's only this little movement right here, and now you're in halfback quick base. So you can kind of combine the two formations, is what I was trying to get at. The biggest thing, guys, with this offense, the other cool part about sail dig is you have this tight end whip route, and there's a lot you could do around this as well. So for example, you could do something like this. You could streak your slot, motion this guy across, put him on a slot apprentice post, angle route your running back. You can do a route combo like this, right? And kind of make shift something. Really, really cool little play. And a lot of times that running back will get in a really soft spot in the defense. So, anyways, guys, that's the doubles out of the Jets. Want to do something a little different for you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like the off-meta stuff, let me know. And if you want to get my full Jets offensive ebook, links in the description. Ten bucks will get you access to all of our ebooks on the Patreon.